This scammer was impersonating Wells Fargo, a well-known bank on Instagram. Now the thing about this is that they actually have a verification badge. This is a verified profile, but there seems to be another profile called Wells Fargo that has the same thing. Nothing to see here. Good thing that this Wells Fargo makes us extra sure it's the real one by saying, real Wells Fargo. That's a relief. For a second there, I thought there might have been an imposter. Well, let's just see how well Wells Fargo runs its money well. You mean, suckers throw money down a hole for fun? That's the greatest scam ever! Actually, now that you mention it, yes, this is an imposter. How could I be so bold to say this? Well, it all started when Well Fargo... No, I won't actually stop. Actually scammed my subscriber. Such a sad reality this happens in. If only I could snap it out of existence and stop living in 2019 for a change. We just might be able to unfreeze our savings account from suspension. After all, that island beach retirement isn't gonna come out of just anywhere, is it? But yes, after an original text message alerting the person that not only a card was fraudulently stolen, but an account was frozen and waiting to be suspended. This was before the charade evolved onto Instagram. This scammer already had their account. This is how they were able to use their phone number. Now what happens when you willingly give your information to scammers like this? Well, it's kind of an occupational hazard, so let's do it. Considering the account in question, owned by Well Fargo, is a sold account and already had a verification badge, rebranded, dressed up all pretty to reel them in, it's pretty basic. I don't know how exactly they were able to make their account name this without losing it, but these rats always have something up their sleeve. So I took the place of my subscriber and answered their DM to get this show on the road. It should be noted that they don't even use Wells Fargo. Hello? Did you read the above message? It's very important that you comply with us at this time in order to release your held funds and not suspend your account. First of all, you can already tell off the bat that this scam isn't going to include any diddly daddling. There's many flavors of scams, and right away, this one's not tasting like it's messing around. They invested a lot into this, and put up a show, so let's give them one, okay? Sir, since this is a very serious business, we will tell you what happened. A scammer or hack has gotten into your frozen account, along with fraudulently stolen your credit card, connected with the account. I still can't get over the fraudulently stolen. It's like saying I fastly got in a high-speed chase. Why can't you just speak normally? The account ending in 0970 is frozen after 13 purchases made from a fraudulent location. The only way to avoid suspension permanently of this saving account is by two-factor verification. You must re-verify your account using a temporary code we will give. Then we will send you two confirmation charges in return. Not again. I'm so done with this happening to me. Yes, but this is just how it happens. Ah, uh, sympathy at its best. Why are you saying this? Cause it's always been the same old scene, but you can't get the sound from a story in a magazine. If you can't notice, we're using 80s lyrics in order to reply. It's a new challenge I've made up. You are not making any sense. And I'm sorry, but considering your situation, we have a lot of seriousness to address. Your account has been automatically selected for this recovery, but we don't have to help you. You may contact Normal Support and see how they help you otherwise. You will not get your account back and your funds will be lost. I'm sorry. I want your help. I just never realized it until now. Until now. Good. The reason this could happen is due to not having two-factor verification. A hacker can get into your account if not. If you don't do anything, they will take all your funds. Don't be a fool. Something that you'll quickly begin to notice when you get any form of experience with dealing with this is the common catchphrases that you'll just see. And that is stuff like fool, two-factor verification, threats, and other forms of extreme professionalism. Um, I just have to quickly slide in the fact that I picked up a job on the side working at Well Fargo. So I'm learning from the best. No cap. Should I go to an ATM? No, don't move where you are. If you go to the bank, you will lose all your funds, okay? Well, I'm already at the bank, unfortunately. I had to make a withdrawal, if you feel me. I just say before, are you a fool? If you do that, you will lose. 
And the reason they do that is because obviously they don't want anyone else knowing about the person being swindled. You have two options. Number two. You may debit a specific amount from your Frozen account using a digital purchase followed by two confirmation charge from us to verify transaction. The charges will be then regunded and your debit account restored. Second, you lose your account and funds and are a fool. I don't know about regunded, but the only one getting gun deaded around here was the teller. Ha <laughs> ha. Pick an option. I'm sorry, don't you think I should deposit some of the money I just withdrew to spend it and get regunded? No. You will get refunded. Are you stupid? <laughs> what? Tell me why you would be taking out money to put it back in. Don't you have funds current in account? Well, that's the thing. It wasn't exactly a consensual transaction. Wait, if you're the bank, can't you just see if I have it or not? Yes, you have funds. Genius. An example purchase would be make- <laughs> Using the debit account will be for iTunes gift <laughs> iTunes gift cards. Let's see what you got. Boy, it's heavy. Must be a lot of gift cards. Hello there. Then you will send the transaction code. We will send you to you once you verify your account. I'm not sure how my parole officer would like that, especially after the last shindig. Me and my boys pulled off the union depository. It sure would take a whole long time to blow all this off on iTunes gift cards. Let me ask you something. Is your account enabled for two-factor verification? That's exactly what the last bank asked me after the big one. They were in Nigeria. My team couldn't send them all the gift cards because we had to trade all the golden for them first. What's your biggest score? Score in what? Your best hit. Take. Amount of moolah. I'm stopping the money being taken by scammers. If you don't verify the two payments we send to your account, then you will lost all your funds anyway. Go to account menu settings and check two-factor. Then make and purchase for iTunes gift cards online so the verification will send you two charges. That's also what he said. What? An old man I stopped along the way to Nigeria while delivering the gift cards. Last chance. Alright. Are you done? Are you sure? As yeah, sure as Kilimanjaro rises like Olympus above the sharing GD. Here's a URL to the website to make the purchase for the iTunes gift cards. When it asks you to confirm with Plaid, you will send the confirmation code to me. You know, like the exact opposite you're supposed to do in any situation. And then I go back to the bank and withdraw the money? No, idiot. You stay still and do this. And then I gave them the silent treatment for a little bit. Before returning with... I'm back! Hello? Hello? Yes. I held up the joint and got a few bands instead. Sorry for the hold up, but it's a hold up. What's this? I sent the picture and, as you can tell, believable. Why do you have that money? I just robbed it from you. Sorry. Don't do that. The money you only need is already in your account. You will be arrest. You're right. Maybe I'll just return this then. I'm sorry. Are you crazy? You cannot return it. Are you asking or telling me? Just send it to me, okay? I can send it. You want it in gift cards? Okay, this is the option now. You send this money to this P.O. box. You send it here or authorities will arrest you. Why do you do such stupid things? This wouldn't be an issue if you just followed what I said. Now your account can't be unfrozen until these funds arrive. Are you playing games? You know what? You're right. I'm just gonna burn all of it to hide the evidence. I can't violate my parole. Are you stupid in the head? The money belongs to me. It belongs to me. And solely to me. Okay, I'm stopping this here because it's hilarious that you actually fell for this up at this point. Okay? Obviously it's a Photoshop picture and you've been wasting your time as a scammer up till now. <gasps> you are not. Yes I am. Your turn. Are you butthurt because I'm scamming? And then I basically told them that... It was the winds of change. Go waste your time more, dumb idiot. Okay. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping the cash now. And that was the end of that. Why do they always end up blocking me? But the funny part is, my bank got unblocked. It's crazy. It's like I live in opposite world. All I have to do is just not follow the directions of Well Fargo, and all of a sudden, everything just goes right. Just like that time I won a Lamborghini by not doing anything. And also the time I won the lottery for $100 million. Basically, the moral of the story is, if you ever get a message like this, definitely reply to it, because it's real. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. My name is Dallas, aka Inferness, and until next time, you'll see me then. Goodbye.